Hi guys, Lanky White Guy here. Uh, in this video, we're going to look at some of the mods that I made on my sluice back here and hopefully be able to help you guys figure out what to do if you ever want to make your own. Well, um, I have modded the sluice back here. If you remember before, it had the um, hardware cloth. Oh, snook. Let me show some people some stuff, please. Had the hardware cloth in there folded in half. Rocks were getting hung in it. So I redid uh, the grizzly bars. I painted the bottom black so hopefully I could see any gold that was hanging out there on the, on the bottom. And I also made the ramp a little bit longer. Oh my gosh, Snooker, look at all your fur coming out. It's like another dog, dude. It's like another dog. That's gross. Sorry, guys. Anyway, back to what I was talking about. Um, actually, let's just go over the mods here, and uh, we'll get back at the end, and I'll show it to you. All right, let's start this off with a picture of Snooker Dog I was using to test ideas for an upcoming guitar. So if you've been following the channel, you might know what it's for. Anyway, the first thing to go was that nasty hardware cloth classifier. I had to pull out the Dremel for a little extra cleanup. If you work on your own project, don't forget some safety gear. As you see, I used what I had available at the time and currently have proper dust masks. Back to the project. I decided to elongate the ramp one inch with the hope that my tailings would go over the top easier. I started a hole just large enough for the saw blade and used a scrap of wood to elevate the blade. It helped avoid cutting into the PVC pipes below. Now it's time for some better grizzly bars. I used some eighth inch welding rod I had laying around and beat the plucks off of it with a hammer. The new opening measured three and a quarter inches with the inch that I added previously. I cut the welding rod with snips at four and a quarter inches, giving myself a half inch on either side to put some slight bends on the ends. Since the rods are an eighth inch, I spaced them on three eighths centers to get roughly a quarter inch classification. And here they are taped in place, and I'm breaking out the good old epoxy putty. A quick pile of epoxy, and they are set. Just to clean it up a bit, I sanded down the bulky piece of wood on the back with my belt sander. Figured it needed dressing up a little bit. I sanded and masked off the bed of the sluice to apply a coating of spray rubber. And that's about it. Alrighty, here we are guys. I've already, I've already taken it out to the river. Done. Oh, thank you, thank you. Done a little bit of testing. Um, there's a little piece of glass I found. I always find little pieces of old bottles uh, out on the river. But me and Snooker Dog took it out. There'll be another video on that, hopefully. I don't know. I looked at some of the footage and it was, I don't know. I don't know how long the video. It'd be a short video. Anyway, rocks are getting hung a little bit in the grizzly bar, but it seems to be going over pretty well. Um, the black bottom. You can see right about here in the middle where I put my shovels into it, it's already starting to chip off. So we might need a different kind of rubber for it. Here, check out the sluice while I grab that. I got this stuff. I don't know how close that was. But anyway, I got this stuff here. And I had put it on the bottom thinking that a flexible rubber coating would be pretty awesome but it's peeling away i did sand it first so that's a thing i might sand it down again and just put another thicker coat on it and see if i can get it to hold up because really it doesn't matter how much i put on it i don't think is it still going to be it's not like it's taking up extra space um, some of the shots that you'll see in the video of the next test which i promise it'll be the last video kind of about this sluice i promise 
I'm just really excited about it. I've got more projects I'm going to build. And there'll probably be multiple videos on those where I'm testing and such like that. But um, I didn't see a whole lot of activity coming out of the tubes when I got down in there with the GoPro. So, I don't know. You guys will have to wait and see on that video. Um, if and when it comes out. If it doesn't, then I'll just let you know. But it should. It should. There's, there's some footage there. So... It'll be a short one, kind of like this one. Sorry for the length of the video. It's not very long, but I mean, really, it's another video on the same project. So I don't want to bore you to death with the exact same project, but it works. I have a sluice. I need to get to some spots with some bigger gold, heavier gold, so I can do some more testing and less black sand. Over here where I am in Pueblo, Colorado, on the Arkansas River, there is just a whole mess of black sand and it gets in here and it gets so heavy that I don't think that it gives the the little waterways here a chance to agitate the material because it's so thick and condensed I think it just blocks up the holes so I want to do some testing on another river I did catch gold with it though um, a bit a little bit of gold and I just ran about 40 shovels but that'll be in another video guys if you like stuff like this uh go ahead and click subscribe follow me uh or whatever no don't follow well you can follow me i'm on twitter but i don't really all i do is post videos and if you're on youtube you'll see it anyway um but click the bell uh if you hit subscribe hit the bell button because then it'll notify you of when a video is coming out as always, leave me a comment down in the uh, comment section below of what you would like to see. Maybe if it's a build, if it's a certain location, anything. Just let me know down in the comments, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.